In this video, we'll transcribe a video from Google Drive with Whisper's API and then take the transcription into Google Drive. Let's dive in. So looking in the, into the fleet builder here in Shipyard, we first wanna start off with downloading the video from Google Drive. So to do that, we're gonna to go to our Google Drive blueprints here inside the fleet builder and click download files. I'm gonna click that, which is gonna create a vessel for us inside of Shipyard. Um, so we're gonna name this download video from Google Drive. Uh, then we need to put our inputs in, but first off, I want to show the video. So this video is in this OpenAI demos folder, and it's called dbtcoreintro.mp4. So this is one of the videos that we've posted on our YouTube channel before. Uh, we want to go ahead and transcribe this one, was what we're going to do with this video. Um, so the only step that I've done prior to this, as you can see, I've shared this with a service account um, that you'll need to do in, in our authorization guides, uh, which you can find up here. If you hover over that, you can see the authorizations guide. Uh, so I've already done that steps. So I'm not showing that in the tutorial, but that's the only thing that you would have to do before you jump into this tutorial. Uh, so starting off with this, so Google Drive folder name, so that's OpenAI Demos, like you can see up there. So I'm gonna throw that in. Uh, the Google Drive file name is gonna be that dbtcoreintro.mp4. So dbtcoreintro.mp4. Okay, we didn't put it in a folder. We already don't want it in a folder. We don't wanna rename it inside of Shipyard. It's not in a shared drive. So the last thing we need to do is put it in our service account. Um, so I'm going to toss that in there. Okay, now we're good to go. So this is going to download that video from Google Drive, uh, the dbt core intro .mp4. Uh, So now what we need to do is we need to use our Whisper blueprints to transcribe this. Um, so look at Whisper, transcribe audio with API. We also have the option to work with not the API, so you would not need an API key for that blueprint. Uh, however, it does go much slower than this API version does. Um, so transcribe audio with Whisper. I guess I could have just clicked that, but we'll go through here. Uh, so I need my API key for that. Uh, so let me grab, let me grab that. Open AI. Go grab that credential and throw it in there. Uh, so the file to transcribe, that's the name of that file that we had before, which is Google, or I'm sorry, dbt core intro .mp4. Uh, The transcription text here, we're going to say uh, dbt core.txt, we'll call it call it whatever you want to language that's the language that the video is in uh, so it's not the language that you want to take it to unfortunately whisper does not have the capabilities to go to trans uh, transcribe into different languages we do have a chat gpt uh, blueprint to transcribe or to translate uh, so if you want this in a different language feel free to check that one out as well um, so this looks good so this is going to generate this um, dbt core.txt file uh, so now what we want to do is we want to take that transcription back up to google drive uh, so we're going to upload that file to Google Drive. Um, so this vessel will be upload transcription to Google Drive. Okay, so I can connect these together. Uh, so local file names, that's going to be that file that we just created, which is dbtcore.txt. You can paste that in there. Uh, so that we didn't put it in a folder. Uh, we didn't put it, we don't want it in a shared drive. So the Google Drive folder name, we want to put that in open... Uh, AI demos right there. Uh, we don't want to re you can rename it inside of Google Drive. We're going to leave it dbt core.txt. Uh, so the last thing we need is our Google service accounts uh, JSON again. Um, we're going to toss that in there. Uh, and then we're good. We're, we're completely set up here now. So this is this full fleet. So kind of looking at it one more time before we run it. So we're downloading the video from Google Drive. Then we're going to transcribe it using Whispers API. And then we're going to upload that trans uh, transcription back to Google Drive. So it looks good. So we're going to click save and finish here. Uh, so this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully, as you see here. And then we can click run your fleet. So this is starting an on-demand run inside a shipyard. So you can start on-demand run inside a shipyard anytime by clicking this green run now button in the top right-hand corner of the fleet of any of any page that you're looking at a fleet. That button will be up there. You can click it and run that current version of the fleet. Uh, with that in mind, if you do want to schedule this, um, you know, schedule this fleet to run at, at you know on a regular time basis. Uh, or set up a webhook to programmatically kick off these runs. Uh, you can do that in our triggers tab here. Um, so we'll do that. We'll look at this while we are waiting for the, the, the fleet to start. Uh, so you can see for our schedules, we can set it hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly. And you can add as many of those as you want or as few of those as you want. Uh, and it's also going to set up in the project's time zone. So I have that set to U.S. Eastern since I live in the Eastern time zone. However, we have all the time zones. So you can pick whatever you want there. Um, and then we also have webhooks as well. Um, so you can see we have a URL there. Um, so for this webhook, you can call that just to start the fleet run. But we also have the ability for you to send parameters through that webhook. Um, so for this would be a perfect example to use that. You could potentially send 
um, a different Google Drive file through that parameter. You could send different, fo you know, Google Drive folders. Um, you know, you could, you could you could change basically all the variables that we set inside of this uh, in this video through the or through the webhook with parameters as well. Uh, we don't want those right now, so we'll take those off. Um, save that again. We'll go back to our logs and look at this thing as it's running. Okay, so you can see it's upcoming. Um, so we're going to give this just a moment to kick off, uh, and then we'll we'll jump right back in whenever it starts running. Okay, so we can see that this fleet has already began running here in our log page. Um, so you can see we already had our first two vessels, so downloading the video and then transcribing it with Whisper have already started and finished successfully. Um, and now uploading that transcription to Google Drive, you can see that it's that yellowish orange color, so it's currently running. Um, so that'll trans transition to green in just a moment. So you can see that just did. Uh, so you can even click inside of this of any of these uh, any of these boxes to look and see uh, what the actual Python output from these runs are. Um, so you can see all the all the uh, inputs that we put in earlier uh, inside the actual visual interface. Uh, you can see your listed here along with the credentials being hidden. Um, and you can also see that that has been successfully downloaded to uh, the shipyard file directory. Uh, backing up, um, so you can see that we completely we, uh, we have completed all the way here. So now I should be able to go to this Google Drive folder uh, and actually see that transcription. So if I go here, you can see here's this dbt core.txt. Uh, if I click into that, um, you can see there is the uh, actual transcription from that uh, YouTube video that I created a few months ago. Um, so in this video, we talked about how you can take a video from Google Drive, uh, transcribe it using Whisper, and then upload the transcription back into Google Drive. If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.